guys. Today's grocery haul prep is going to start in the bathroom. Here it is. Remember that one time when I was going to have a micro pantry? Uh-huh. We have to wash these bins. I got them from Sam's Club. I got them on my mid-month grocery haul. Two bucks. They're used. And they had uh, icing in them, but we have to wash them out so I can put flour and sugar and maybe some baking soda and down the road, maybe some uh, grain things. So I'm going to wash them out in the bathtub because it's big and it sounded like a good idea. Also, I'm going to go around my house. I am going to see what is out, what needs to be replenished. I'll show you all the cabinets. I'll show you all the things that I'll be getting and uh, what I need to fill and all of that. So let's prep for our once a month grocery haul today, shall we? Come on. Scrub daddies are your friend. Dawn dish soap, gloves. Here we go. A little too much hot water. So let's fix that up. I got one more thing I want to do. This jar has some sticky stuff on it. And one of the things I use to get the sticky stuff off is essential oils. I have not found one to be better than another. So if you've got lemon, if you've got whatever, like the oil in it really helps to take off all this gunk. So since I'm up here, why don't we just take care of that too, huh? Well, the vast majority came off, but you can still see there's a little bit of a thing to it. Now, I've used Goovy Gone in the past with semi good results. I've used oil in the past with much better results. This time, not as well. So I'm gonna think through that, see if I can figure out some ways to clear that off, because I'd like to use it for my homemade teriyaki sauce. But I will, no matter what I do, uh, run this through the dishwasher because I do not want my teriyaki to have any kind of, um, you know, oil taste to it. That would be disgusting. So I think what I'm going to do is just let this sit on here, right there on Scrub Daddy, and I'm going to come back to it. Since I'm upstairs already, you know how the drill goes. I, before I ever go into the grocery store, I like to have everything full. So if I'm in the bathroom, that's going to be Q-tips flossers, toothpaste, any kind of thing that can run out. I want to make sure that it's full and then I go and I see how much do I really need because sometimes we think, uh, you know, we've got a bunch in storage, but maybe the ones our working area like our bathroom or our kitchen or pantry doesn't have very much of the thing that we need. And so then what we thought was a lot of something wasn't actually, if that makes sense. But uh, let's check out like, I mean, this is quite a bit of Q-tips, but let's just fill it up to the top. I have so much toothpaste, you wouldn't believe it. We just went to the dentist today, so they gave me tons of toothpaste on top of the toothpaste I already had. And I know I need some deodorant, more of that, so I'm going to fill this. I'm going to put deodorant on my list. So we're checking contact solution, yes. We're checking, you know, anything, shampoo, conditioner, soap. Uh, I just... I looked at that all this morning, so I actually know that we are A-OK, -okay, although I might get one more baby soap. And I also need to fill up the toilet paper. Let's fill it. Sandy 
claws is here. Okay, we're gonna fill up the toilet paper. I got my Q-tips. Let's fill up our Q-tip guy. Okay, Q-tips are full. Now it's time to fill up the toilet paper. And I fill it up. Oh, another thing to check is hand soap, and this one is very full. So, let's put these things away and head over to the next bathroom. Come on. More toilet paper filling. This bathroom is pretty simple. So I'm also checking, they got a bunch of toothpaste today at the dentist. I have several more up here. And then mouthwash, there's another mouthwash in my extra backstock area. The hand soap is good, but it will need to be replaced. And I know that I only have one hand soap. So I'm gonna write down hand soap because I know that I'm gonna need some more. Let's check out my backstock for bathroom stuff. By the way, those of you that have been kind of doing this method, some of you always do it. Um, it's nothing new for you, but some of you have been trying it. And I've heard from you guys in my DMs and in comments that it's been super helpful for you to prep before you go to the grocery store. So yay for you. I love finding things that really help to make things more efficient and to save us time, to save us money, to save us the frustration of you know, running out of something. This definitely helps. There's my one little hand soap. I have three bathrooms and a kitchen, so I always wanna have that around. More mouthwash, mom mouthwash, but I just opened one for myself, so we're definitely good. I've got more Q-tips. Look at this. I've got toothpaste, not from the dentist. And another toothbrush. I told you guys this in my mid-month. You've gotta get these double, or maybe it was my once a month last month. These duo line floss picks. I didn't even know I was getting them. I think I got these from Walmart. And they are fantastic. I opened that bag up and I was flossing. And I'm like, yes. I need to go find where all the little toothpastes went that we got today. I think, oh, you know what? I put them up in the cabinet. I already told you that. Okay, <clears throat> I've got body soap for when mine runs out. You know what I don't have up here is lotion. So let's write that down. I don't ever want to run out of lotion, especially as winter comes around. I've got hairspray. If you can see, I've got hairspray over here. And then down here, I decided to put the extra pillows up here. So I had to move some things and I need to find a home for them at some point. Oh, that's trash. See, great. Let's see, sun stuff. I don't even have to consider that. That stuff is good, 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 good. Keep the baby wipes in here in the closet and uh, three of those will not last us. So baby wipes. And then down here, I'm gonna go fill up Nola's closet with diapers. Just take a big handful. The rest I'll leave here. Let's get another thing of diapers. Those pull-ups are, you know, left over from another child. And if we need them, they're there. That is it for this closet, guys. Let's go fill up Nola's spot. Watch, it just goes right like that. There's her little baggy wipes. Done. By the way, I did bring up this extra thing of toilet paper, so I'm gonna put it in here. I will for sure be buying more toilet paper for the month. There's bathrooms up here that need it. We're just gonna set it in here and be ready. Shall we go downstairs? Let's do. Hello, refrigerator. This looks weird, but I promise you that it's apple cider and I had to use painter's tape because the lid for this went, I don't know where, and so there's plastic wrap with the painter's tape. It'll all make sense when you come back from my meal prep video, I promise. Okay, let's see what we have. Hi, baby. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put this little guy because there's barely any left in a more usable space so we don't forget about it. And I'm also gonna stick this guy if he fits. Okay, in the roundabout. It's a little tight, but 
It's gonna have to do for now. We've got ketchup, we've got applesauce. I have some chicken broth. We'll scoot him over. And then uh, we've got stuff for making sourdough, stuff for making apple cider donut bread, yes. And we got apple juice, I need to wipe that down. That's gonna happen. Yogurt, I need more of that. I've got salsa, good eggs. I. We definitely need more to last us the month. I have this cheese that I got, the neighbor brought it over the other day. They got it from Costco, which is out of town, and uh, said that they sprinkle it on like a parchment paper, put it in the oven, 350 for like five minutes. It makes a little crunchy, cheesy goodness. Ham, turkey cheese left over. Okay, this jelly, this jelly's gonna go up with the jelly but i actually probably need another one and this will still close shockingly enough all right let's see what else okay we've got vitamins we've got this i need to wipe that down veggie drawers let's see what we've got so this is a good time if you've got extra peppers or something that you're not quite sure if they're gonna last cut them up and throw them in the freezer they defrost really nicely got that guy. I've got a tomato. He's looking excellent. The carrots are looking pretty good. Um, the cilantro is looking a little sad. Got a tiny bit of ginger and um, nuts. These have molded. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Even my best efforts sometimes don't go very well. This one, we've got oranges, we've got a nasty lime. Oh, another nasty lime. This one's good. That one's scary. I'm going to be making some apple stuff here fairly soon. And I've got normal apples. Okay, so let's wipe everything out and make it shine. Let's fill up our butter situation here. I know I have some more in the freezer, but I want to know just how many. I don't have more in the freezer. Really glad I checked on that. So I'm gonna write butter down on my list. Over here, I do know that I need more strawberry jelly, obviously, and definitely need more milk. Down here, this will have chocolate chips in it by the end of our grocery haul. The little kitty food is over here, and then we've got some cheese uh, going down here. So everything looks good. How about the freezer, folks? We did that once a month meal food prep, and um, we've got a little bit of pancakes left, which I think in the next day or so will probably get eaten up. I do need some more mixed berries. We've got corn, uh, pizza, these, whoa, that's nearly gone. Um, and then I've got some cut up peppers and a taco, Tex-Mex sauce, jalapenos, that kind of thing. So those are good. What do we need for our meats? I've got ground beef, that looks good, chicken. Um, we got through quite a bit of chicken, so we're probably gonna need to get some more of that, and then we're good on ground turkey. I got mahi-mahi and tilapia, a little bacon, so I'm gonna add some different meats. So I definitely need to make some more things, like meal prep things, and then get some more meats, and the berries, probably some pizza, we like to have those around, and ice cream, of course. Shall we go into the pantry, my friends? Okay, up the top, more ketchup, more barbecue sauce. I've got enough 
chocolate syrup for our uh, chocolate milk. I'm gonna get another thing of Nutella. Peanut butter is, we've really slowed down on peanut butter. I have enough pumpkin for what I'm gonna use next month, but I'm, pumpkin's kind of been hard to come by, so I am gonna buy some more for like preparing for November, just so that I'm ready, because me and pumpkin pie and pumpkin muffins and all the pumpkin, yes, yes, yes. And I have a really fun um, little recipe, pumpkin recipe uh, that I can't wait to share with you in the next couple of weeks. So be sure to come back for the, uh, for all of that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, we got these little fun chicken broccoli rice. We need olives, we need green beans, we need beans, we need pumpkin. There's a lot that we need here. So let's write that down. As per usual, Lulu has come to inspect the situation. And let's see, what do we have? We have some ramen still. I'm happy about that. You guys know that we're getting to the end of the month when this is all we have for pasta. So this is gonna have about, I don't know, 15 more boxes of pasta. And then in the bottom, what do we have? I have not been buying snacks, guys, other than like one or two little things. This is overflow, but I'm gonna move it over to our snack cabinet because I think it's time for it to be there. And then let's check out. Croutons are okay. I am gonna need some more pasta sauce. I've got my onions down there. I think we can just move this. Right, so let's write down pasta sauce and pasta. Uh, we need more bread for sure. We've got a good amount of popcorn and I think we might have two. Okay, I got two things of popcorn open. I'm gonna consolidate these guys. popcorn we'll see at mid-month if we do popcorn. okay we already had these guys but then somebody opened another one and that means that they need to go here do you remember that extra box we had i wonder if we can consolidate that little bag into these two guys let's see let us see Love it. You know, the kids aren't really even that big of fans of goldfish. They'll eat them. They used to really like them, and then we're kind of on a downward slope at the moment. So it's sort of unfortunate that this is the snack that we have around, but we're going to eat it. Yes, we will. Okay. Would you believe that we have more goldfish? Somehow we had a bunch of little snack ones, and... We have so many goldfish. Uh, wow. Well, I don't know if they'll ever be eaten, but good luck to us, right? We'll put all the nuts together. I like to do that. And then uh, there's just a little bit of cereal down here. We're really not buying a whole lot of cereal because it doesn't fill the kids up. So I've been making muffins and homemade or homemade-ish waffles and pancakes. And then I'm going to be doing apple cider bread. So there's that. As per usual, we're gonna come up here. I have a 25 pound bag of sugar. I will triple check on that because one time I thought I had sugar and then I didn't, it was really sad. This has baking soda in it. Let's see if I can fill it the rest of the way, shall we? I think it's all gonna fit. Yay! This is definitely food grade and uh, for cleaning. So sometimes I use it in the wash for clothes. Sometimes I use it in the sink for cleaning. All that to say, I like to have a lot of baking soda. Okay, up here, vanilla, vanilla. We're good, how about we shake our homemade vanilla? So I told you guys that this takes a year to be like at perfection. It can be used after eight weeks. But then some of you said that you used the Instapot to make vanilla, and sadly, my pressure cooker died like three weeks ago. So I'm just gonna have to keep using store-bought until I get another pressure cooker, but you're supposed to give this a little shimmy shake. This one as well, shimmy shake. 
got these off of Amazon a couple weeks ago, and I'm so, so glad that I did. They were a good price for 500 of them. Now I don't have to worry about buying them all the time. Remember my golden rule, fill things up and you know exactly how much you have. So let's do that. Okay, fill that up, and this will be just fine for the month. Let's see, espresso beans are really good. I made homemade hot chocolate and we've been going through that. Wednesdays are kind of our hot chocolate day. I'm good with tea. I love this stuff. It's none and our noon, I don't know, but it's like an electrolyte thing, a little tab you put in some water. Lemon lime is my flavor and I like it. Okay, this guy is done. Checking down here, 25 pounds of sugar. Okay, so that's gonna go in that little micro pantry in those food grade containers. I wanna make sure that they're very, very dry before I do that. So I'm gonna let those go for this time, but I will certainly be filling them very soon. How about down here? We've got bread flour. Let's put that down with the other flours. Okay, we're definitely good with syrup, although that was kind of gross. We're super good with the all-purpose baking mix. I still have another thing of it already pre-measured. All I have to do is add the liquid ingredients to it. Let's fill up the rice when we get around there. Oatmeal is looking good. Oh, tomato paste, that needs to go somewhere else. Uh-oh. I need, what do you guys think about this spudded sweet potato? I'm gonna definitely pluck those off and I need to cook that up really soon. Let's fill up the rice though. I don't know why this was down there, so I'm gonna move that to where my cans are. Let's look down here. Okay, I've got some rye flour left, which is great. So I made rye bread and I thought it was good. It had a little rye-ness to it, but it certainly could use more. So my dad said that I should add some caraway seeds. I really like the rye flavor of things, so I'm fine with that. And then one of you guys also told me that that, will, um, that would be good too. So I am going to give that a go. This is, well, this is something. I think this is whole wheat flour. Yeah, that's whole wheat flour. It kind of looks more white than it really is. And then, and then we've got all of our different flours. I have one more loaf of uh, sourdough that I'm going to be making very soon. Oh, hey, I'm going to put that in the fridge. And then Zion got this for her birthday, and we still haven't made it. We need to get on that. Ding, 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 ding. So I'm just going to add probably some russet potatoes because those are usually down here but everything else looks awesome. Spice cabinet. Actually, it's not really a spice cabinet anymore. I need to fill up the olive oil. I have soy sauce, and I think it's good. More salt and more pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and change out this little liner. It's looking like it needs some love. This is the salt I use when I make uh, anything with like my sourdough stuff. I haven't really been going through my balsamic vinegar lately. I also need more garlic cloves. Let's fill up the olive oil, shall we? Here we go. If you're new here, the paper towel and the painter's tape is there because I don't want my hands to get so oily. And if I can, I'm gonna change that out here in a second. It needs a refresh, doesn't it? I'm 
put a little bit on the bottom just so that it kind of stays extra, you know? It's not pretty, very functional. I just want to take a quick look at the spices here real quick. Um, I think we're pretty good. You know, I'm probably going to get some more Italian seasoning, although I could make my own. What's in this? Basil, rosemary, marjoram, thyme, sage, and oregano. I don't know that I have sage, but I have all the other things. So let me see if I've got any sage. If I do, I'll just make my own. Uh, onion powder. I'm okay. Okay. Let me see if I have some sage. If not, I'll throw that on the list and I'll make my own. I forgot to show you up here in this cabinet. I do have sage right there. Awesome. And then my salt. Yeah, super good. So everything's looking fine except for that little pebble of something. We gotta get rid of that. Okay, so let me write everything down. I just need salt, pepper, and garlic up here. And then I wanna double check. Okay, yeah, for sure. Our flour is really good. Then we pop over to here. I used this box. Did you guys see the video I put out a couple days ago, like two days ago, and I was organizing the dresser with kind of some office supply type things. I needed a box for tape and everything, so I grabbed the quart size box and uh, took some of the top part off, like here, and used it in that drawer for organizing. So that doesn't have one currently, but let's see. Um, I think foil, plastic wrap is kind of running low. And then what extras do I have? Okay, sandwich bags are good. Oh, plastic is good. And then I've got more parchment down there, so I might just get a foil. Also, my oils, everything here is looking brilliant. I don't need anything here. Okay, so maybe just some quart size bags and foil. Last place that we're gonna look is in the laundry room. Um, I love this stuff. I have to buy it now on Amazon, but if you ever see it in the store or you get it on Amazon, it's wonderful. OxyClean Max Force and it's the foam. I found it years ago. And then once I found it, they're like, you know what? Now that Megan buys it, we're gonna stop selling it at the store. So if your store has it, you are very lucky. White vinegar, I might buy some more. I used a lot for cleaning this past month. And then we're really good on Windex and more laundry soap for sure. Let's see about here. Paper towels, toilet paper. I do need to go fill up the bathroom down here. So let's grab that. And then that means there's now no toilet paper down here. Do I think we're going to need more paper towels? Hmm. Better safe than sorry, right? So I better make sure to get that. Everything else is good. I've got disinfecting wipes still. Let's just kind of like, let's put these things back in order a little bit. We'll have to fill up the Windex here pretty soon. Um, that new set comes with another bottle, so I'm not gonna fill that one up. And everything looks a-okay. Last spot, let's see, bleach is good. Murphy's oil soap, these guys. Okay, these are all fine. I am not worried about those. This is kind of like my floor closet so i keep my vacuum in here and um, the carpet cleaner and uh my extra map and then the last place is this bathroom i thought it was the laundry room but i lied that's almost gone so i definitely definitely need more hand soap and what about toilet paper there's none here and one that needs to go in there let's fill that up and then we'll call it done easy peasy that one's done that one's done and we're good guys. So the last thing that I need to do is meal plan. I like to do that based on what I already have in the house first and then plan some other meals. I have a video about how I meal plan, so you can check that out. I'll put it in the links below in the description box. And then I go and I price check everything on my list to find out where it is the cheapest because I go to four stores, Sam's Club, Aldi, Walmart, Meyer, Target for the diapers and wipes. And it actually is the cheapest there and I like the quality. So. I know some people have said, oh, it's cheaper at Sam's or Walmart. It's actually not. Um, I price check that quite often to just make sure. And with the quality and the prices, Target is a winner. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope that you guys are doing well. Oh, I also need to make sure if I have any little coupons. Meyer likes to send me coupons and I like to keep them because I don't have to look for them. They just show up <laughs> and on things that I really already buy. Bananas, apples, peppers, pasta. It's fantastic. 
Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go do all those other things. Hope that you guys are doing well. And we started in the bathroom and we ended in a bathroom. So talk to you guys soon, bye.